How's it going everybody? In today's video, I'll be showing you the top 3 ways to improve your aim in Fortnite. Because Fortnite removed building and now has a new zero build game mode, aim is the most important mechanic thus far. Before the video starts, I'd just like to thank all of you for surpassing 100 YouTube subscribers, and I am now gifting my subscribers every single day, so if you want me to gift you something, leave your usernames down in the comments below. Anyways, let's begin. One of the first things that comes to mind when thinking about aiming in any shooter is practice. One of the ways that I enjoy practicing my aim in Fortnite is hopping into a creative map and doing some drills. My suggestion is to warm up in creative for about 10 to 15 minutes, doing nothing but aim training. Horizontal tracking is the most useful to practice in my opinion, and I will leave the map code that I use down in the video description. Coming in at number 2 is to simply play zero build. This is a great way to practice aim in Fortnite and potentially improve aim because you are putting yourself in intense situations. In this game that you see on screen right now, I jumped early so that I would have to fight and get the kills. A piece of advice would be to try to get high kill games, don't worry about the win. A side note that you should keep in mind at all times is to get as many headshots on your opponents as possible. This will eliminate them much quicker and will increase your chances of winning the fight. Also some great advice is to take your time when aiming. It's okay if you die in these games, you're just practicing and warming up. Later you can play arena and practice your aim in those games, but for now, just focus on your aim. Take your time and don't sweat it. The last and final aim tip I have for you today is settings. This is a very in-depth topic that I could do and talk about for hours really, but I'm going to just summarize it down into a brief selection of different settings. The majority of aim depends on your settings and this includes what weapon you are using, sensitivity, and much much more. Different weapons and bullet types can affect a player's aim and the weapons, bullet spread, and angles of attack also play a part in your overall aim. A lot of people also ask what is the difference between high and low sensitivity. This boils down to personal preference but both have their own pros and cons. High sensitivity means you can build faster and track movement faster. You can also practice quick flick shots and tracking when gunning down enemies. Low sensitivity means you will have more precision when aiming but also means you won't be able to track as fast. That is, unless you have a large mouse pad. For console players, turning off aim assist and practicing in the aim trainers is a great idea because once you turn it back on, your aim will be incredible. Some other things that can help improve aim is upgrading your gear. Upgrading your mouse and keyboard or controller could drastically change the way you play. Making sure you have a good mouse pad also will improve aim on mouse and keyboard. A pro tip that has helped me improve is to watch professionals play. This can give you a sense in where you should be and help set goals for the future. If you want more tips from other players, make sure to join the Discord server linked down in the video description. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope this video helped, and if it did, please hit that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss any content, and don't forget to drop your gamer tags down below in the comments so that I can add you and possibly gift you something from the Fortnite item shop. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.